What's up guys, Magmara here with a music production tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be focusing on uh, future house music basses such as... Uh, uh, mainly going to be working in Massive, the synth, with some Ableton effects. But there is one silent one in there. So yeah, <laughs> there's that. Uh, let's start off with this one here. So, quite a heavy bass sound. Uh, without effects, just the pure patches. So the effects just add, you know, more high-end reverb and all that shit. So the actual patch is made up of uh, three oscillators, one uh, square wave, one uh, rough math two, with a minus 24, and the uh, seventh, or the uh, fifth, sorry, is uh, halfway between a, a square and a saw. Uh, that's at bend plus minus, that's at bend minus, that's at bend plus. There's a modulation oscillator at seven with ring modulation on three, like that. A little bit of phase on two, a little bit of a uh, position change. There's no FMing. Uh, low pass filter and a band pass filter with uh, this envelope here. <laughs> To give it a nice, you know, stab, you can. <laughs> to give it some, I give it a longer attack. No white noise, no feedback. Parabolic shaper. We're just, just adding some dirt. Same with the the classic tube. Dimension expander. Uh, draw right about here. Size all the way down. Just add some high end in there. Turn on restart by gate. Otherwise, it will sound shit. Uh, six. Uh, unison monophonic uh, with pan position full invert wave tail position all the way up. Um, I think that's the patch. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of resonance, a little bit of bandwidth on the band pass. Uh, put in your melody. <laughs> then just add. This is generally for all these bases. Just take out a little bit of the mid and boost the fuck out of the high end um, reverb, no pre-delay, you don't need that change it from low cut to high cut which I think is the default quality high 2.89 decay, 2 decay time try it at 32% uh, I like putting saturators on with a uh, senofoid and a uh, little bit of drive there and then that's just a sidechain compressor giving it a little bit more volume as well <laughs> So there's that one. This one's a bit, bit more weird. It's got another tone in there. Now that isn't actually within the oscillators, that's generated by the parabolic shaper. But we'll get to that in a second. Um, uh, so the first oscillator is minus 24 with uh, between a square and a saw, minus 24, bear minus, intensity down, amp down a bit. Uh, between sine and square, uh, minus 24, on spectrum, and then tends all the way up, amp down a little bit. And then the uh, seventh is created with uh, minus 5, with somewhere between a saw and a square, spectrum all the way up, amp all the way up. No modulation or slayer, which is quite odd, but we'll deal with it. Uh, <laughs> a low pass 2 with, again, the spike, a bit of attack. You can be like a. But this one's a. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, there's a classic tube again, dimension expander again, more high end again, parabolic shaper with dry wet drive all the way up to boost everything. <laughs> then the weird sort of third note is generated from this. <laughs> so that's a nice little effect, I thought. Again, take out this frequency, which I didn't like at all. <laughs> Um, take out mids, boost highs. I didn't actually boost the highs that much. It was mainly this frequency here, which is around the fifth. I added again a reverb with I think the same settings as last time. Um, saturate it with a sinusoid, compress to compress it a little bit, <laughs> and then another side chain. This is the other one after it, which is this one. A much more thick sound. Uh, same EQ, same reverb, same saturator, same compressor, 
same side chain. I just copied and pasted the effects because I thought they sounded nice, which you can do sometimes. Um, by the way, these are actually my presets. I haven't stolen these from anyone. Uh, There's just a photo of my presets that I've made myself. Um, again, there's a square saw, sine square, like that again, and then another minus. Am I looking at the wrong synth? I must be looking at the wrong synth. No, I'm not. <laughs> right. Yeah, so yeah. Um, derp, derp, derp. Just the same thing, except with the whole spectrum and web tables, all like that. Uh, this one has got modulation and oscillator, and the whole sort of deepness is created from the minus 8 pitch ring modulation on the uh, first oscillator. So without it, it sounds like this. But with it, it sounds gives it a nice little. It's, it creates quite an odd effect, but it's, I, I quite like it. Um, yeah, it's got a low pass on it again with uh, attacked K, all that good shit. Um, Teletube, um, dimension expander, and again, just ton of a ton of high end pan position, just a little bit. The start of our gate is on all of these. Same with the last one. That one's just the same. We start by a gate on. On to the next one, which is this one. A bit more woody, you know. Uh, called the called the patch flint. <laughs> um, yeah, woody. Um, minus twenty four on a, a basically a saw with bend minus tends down a bit. Um, with the woody wavetable at minus five with bend plus bend plus minus slash plus. Uh, we have to have position there. Um, a little bit of phasing on the saw. Low pass with again almost the same envelope. Bit of resonance. Teletube again. Dimension expansion again. High end again. Uh, we have to have position four. We we'll start by gate on. Same, same shit. I think again. Maybe slightly different. But yeah, uh, on to the silent one just for a bit of flavour. Um, yeah, it's just a saw with uh, that on minus two, that on plus seven. I don't think either of these are on. Yeah, just just part A, two oscillators. Uh, that one's got a little bit detune. Everything I think's reasonable. Uh, filter all the way down or sort of 7 o'clock-ish. Uh, 8, 8 o'clock maybe. Uh, resonance all the way down. Input select A. Drive up a bit. 24. Decibels. Whatever that means. I think it's decibels. Cut off. Their resonance there. Key track up a little bit. Warp drive on. Uh, this is modulating the cut off and the phase of A with the decay just up. Everything else all the way down. That's the patch. I'll select Mono Legato, whack up your portamento and put it on S. Distortion, bit of, bit of a clip, chorus on a little bit, and some compression, and that's within the patch. Then I added a Wolfram, which I think is a free plugin, um, but uh, I just use a preset, a chorus preset, um, with the dry wet turned down a lot. EQ'd to boost the bass at the high end and take out some of the mid frequencies I didn't like. Um, a reverb with a higher dry wet because I thought it sounded nice. Another synoid void with the drive to zero and uh, another side chain compressor. Sounds like compressor. Sounds like this. And there's this one. The more standard one that I made just now, actually. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's a square, it's a saw, and scrapyard for the for the um, seventh. I mean, the fifth, sorry, I keep saying that, Jesus. Um, spectrum, uh, they're all spectrum, scrapyard, weight opposition. 
there. <laughs> Amp are halfway up. Take note of the amps, I suppose. Modulation, that one zero, just phasing. Uh, oscillator 2 a little bit with that envelope. No inserts, no white noise, no feedback, just a band pass. Start that gate on per usual. Power position full with four unisono. Classic tube again. Dimension expan dimension expansion, and again just a fuck ton of high end. Um, yep, take out mids, boost highs. See classic. This one's got a bit of overdrive on the mids because I thought it needed it. Uh, drive at twenty five percent. Uh, 48 on drive, 64 tone. Uh, reverb decay time 1.17, drive at 32%. Compression to make it sound compressed. <laughs> and then uh, another side chain compressor after it. That's your sound. And then this one, which isn't actually that good, but if you want to make it. Uh, <laughs> Take out low mids and mids, boost highs. I put a ping pong delay on it uh, with very low feedback and dry wet just to add a little bit of rhythm. Uh, reverb, saturation, side chain compression. Within massive, you've got digigrain 2, wave to position up there, bend minus, intensity down, amp all the way up. Um, saw, everything all the way up, minus 24. You, again, you're getting your fifth from. Uh, a square on spectrum intensity slightly down. Watch I just a phase, just a tiny bit on the second one. Uh, don't worry about all that, that's off. Uh, goodbye. Yes, there's all that. It's just, just a low pass with a uh, uh, envelope like that. No resonance. Classic tube, dry wet, very just a little bit. Then drive halfway up, dimension expansion, a little bit of dry wet, but size halfway up, and again just high end. Uh, power position, unit center four, just like that. Dry wet, we start by gate on as usual. A sign shaper with dry wet like that, drive all the way up, and you get a sort of weird effect. <laughs> There's your rundown on how to make fifth future housey basses. Uh, this is my first video, so if it's a bit shit, I'm sorry. But um, yeah, if you've enjoyed it, please like, like, subscribe, and all that shit. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>